Yes, <laughs> see the look on your face when you caught the garter. Well, you shouldn't have kept I pushing me over there. I have not seen you smile like that in so you long. Should've. That was good. <laughs> okay. Now we are going to do it right here, right now. Dancing. No. No, yeah. No. Yes, no. seriously, come dance. on. Nobody's around. Dance. Well, you do now. That's fine. Come on, please. You just put your arm here. Sam. And you put your arm here. I don't want to dance. You... And then we just. Okay, you need to get I'm not some. Bite. You, you, you need to get some rest. Please, Jason, come on. I, I doubt I'm even going to remember tomorrow, so come on. Please. Okay. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I noticed that it was good. Yeah, that's good. Okay. Um. You know. You know what? You know what? You should. You should probably probably get some sleep. No. Come on. Jason, I don't want to sleep. Not for a single second. Okay, he said no. Just, you just don't have to step on my I'm foot gonna, anymore. Okay. <laughs> I don't think I'm bad. I, it's not so bad, is it? No, Where, well, that's sorry. Are you okay? Um, I'd be going along and I'd be thinking, you know, in the back of my head, what would it be like to kiss Jason? And but now I know, I do. I know it makes me feel dizzy. Jason, the whole room is spinning. Oh. She went. I mean, she how she's feeling about the baby. Yeah, yeah, Emily's been real kind to her. She just wanted to wish her well. And then after the wedding, we went to the reception, started drinking a little bit, got a little drunk before she realized. Did it help? Uh, you know, she kind of she kind of let go. Well, it was good. good. We had we had fun. She was laughing, we enjoyed ourselves. I know, I know it's not going to last, but it was good to see her take a break from the pain. I appreciate Sam's offer, you know, to uh, testify on my behalf, but if she changes her mind, you just no, you gotta no, tell me. No, no, Sonny, that was her decision. She wants to help you hold on to well, Christina. I know, I know, I know, but it looks like I'm not gonna... I'm gonna lose Christina anyway. You, you don't think there's any chance that Alexis is, is gonna change her mind? I went to Alexis tonight, and I, and I, you know, try to get her to agree to, to share custody. She refused. If I don't get proof that Durant stole that file by the time I take the stand tomorrow, then I will, I will, you know, give up Christina forever. Will you call me when you find him? Because I have to handle this one personally. All right, let me know. How you feeling? Things for your hangover over here. Come on. Sit down. Relax. There you go. I remember champagne, right? I was mm -hmm. drinking. I drank my glass, and I think I drank your glass and a couple more of my glasses. And you did. You, you told me to stop. Ugh. 
I remember dancing. We danced. Mm hmm. I was laughing. A laughing, lot. yeah, you were laughing. It was good. It was good for you. It was good for you. I forgot my baby and I laughed. Jesus, yeah. how could you do that? Hey. Hey. You didn't, you didn't forget. <clears throat> You've been through so much. And it's still going to be a long road. It's okay if, if, if we laughed and we had fun for a couple hours. You know, the best gift you can give your daughter is just to live your life to the fullest. Sunny up. Meyer, you had 24 hours to fix it. To prove that file was stolen so they couldn't use it in court. Your time is up. Hey, Tom. Thanks for coming back to take me to the custody hearing. I know I'm interrupting your work. It's okay. It's okay. Jason, um... I, uh... Yeah? What? I was, um, I was thinking about last night, and I kissed you, didn't I? Yeah. Yeah, listen, I'm really sorry. I had way too much to drink. It went straight to my head. I know you told me to stop a couple of times, and, and I didn't, and I apologize. It's a, it's a, no, 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 please, don't say anything. It's way too embarrassing right now. I just, I wanted to let you know that I'm, I'm not going to drink again, especially not champagne. Water. <laughs> okay. Um, I forgot my coat. I didn't know that Sam was testifying. I'm not surprised. She'll tell them what happened in chapel, and I'll look even that much more at their demo. Well, I'm prepared for this. Sam's testimony may not be as damning as you think. It's been handled. It's not advisable to conduct your no. business in a court. It could have a direct bearing on the case. Counselor, call your next witness. I call Samantha McCall to the stand. I was alone in the hospital chapel when Alexis confronted me. Do you recall what she said? Yes. <clears throat> she begged me to let the doctors induce labor so she could use the stem cells from my baby's umbilical cord to save Christina, but there was at least a 10% chance that my child wouldn't survive, so I said I couldn't. And what was her reaction? She got angry. She said that I was letting Christina die because I was selfish. Those were her exact words? Yes. Objection, Your Honor. Counsel is taking witnesses' comments out of mm -hmm. context. Overruled. Continue. Alexis said Christina's death would be on my head. Did that upset you? Yes, she was yelling at me. And I just, I, I couldn't take it anymore. And I tried to say, okay, that I would, I would do it, I would induce labor, and I collapsed. I collapsed, I felt this terrible pain, and, and I just went down. Ms. Davis asked for your help initially, is that correct? Yes. Now, it's been argued that she was desperate, she was fearing for her daughter's life, and that the stem cells from your baby's umbilical cord were Christina's only hope. That's right, yeah. So it would be accurate to say that Ms. Davis was fighting for her daughter's life? Yes. 
No further questions, Your Honor. You may step down. Counselor, call your next witness. I call Mrs. Carly Corinthos to the stand. <laughs> you had to help me. Put me in witness protection. Who, who attacked you? This is your fault. You're the one who stole a file from Sonny. If you don't do something fast, I, I'm gonna die for something you did. Come on, Meyer, come on. Gotta hand it to this guy. Let's give him the performance of a lifetime. I have to know I'll be protected. Uh, that depends on whether or not you made a copy of the file incriminating Sonny. The one I stole was destroyed in a fire. Got what we need. Hey. Hey. Um, Sam had an appointment with Dr. Meadows. Do you think she's... She's in the lounge. So I thought you might like the color, and you do. I brought you all kinds of crowns. We got green and, and pink and purple. You want me to start? Yeah. Yeah? I'll make you, how about a flower? You want to make, make a flower? Yeah. Now that is pretty. Oh, pink? I love pink. I'll be back. good with her. Well, you, um, you said it would help me heal if I looked at the life my daughter saved, so. Uh, you weren't ready then, so. No. But now I am, I think. And playing with her and watching her get healthier every day, it really does remind me that my daughter did not live and die. That file was destroyed last week. Forensics found nothing but ashes. I moved the file to another location. I had to make sure that the evidence wasn't compromised before we made an arrest. Oh, okay, he is lying. Alexis used that file to try and blackmail Sonny into giving her full custody. When he refused, then she gave it to Rick. That's a pretty serious accusation. Of which Carly has absolutely no proof. I'm the one you should be arresting. Why is that? I'm the one who stole the file from Sonny's house in the first place. The file incriminating Sonny was in my grandson's box of comic books. I didn't have a warrant to search the premises, nor did I have an agreement with the judge. The incriminating file was a result of an illegal search and seizure, therefore inadmissible in court. Sonny will have to be released. Before you make a formal statement, Mr. Duran, I think maybe you should consider everything that you have at stake. I realize there'll be consequences. You'll be cited for obstruction of justice. You will go before the bar. Your career will be over. So maybe you should take a second here and evaluate exactly what you have at stake. Take them stand. With a tape of Duran talking to mine? Yeah, admitting that he stole the file. Now make copies. Okay. Rick, his case has disappeared against you no matter how this plays out. I know what I stand to lose. I'm ready to make a statement, suffer the consequences. My only regret is that I will most likely lose my daughter. We don't need to hear this. I also may have interpreted my encounter with Jason Morgan this morning. He didn't threaten me. Nor did he shoot the accountant, Howard Meyer. That's simply what he wanted me to believe. What are you saying? My encounters with Meyer and Morgan were both a setup. So you're not pressing charges against Jason Morgan? There's no charges to press. It's 
It's my guess that Howard Meyer is in perfectly good shape. You're free to go. You have no grounds to hold him. Inadmissibility of evidence needs to be determined by a judge. This is a clear-cut case of illegal search and seizure. Judges have ruled alleged tainted evidence is admissible in a number of case precedents. As there's Wyoming versus Those Applegate. Those rulings were made by policemen in the course of their duties, not by grandfather stealing little stashes of boys' comic books. Again, it needs to be determined by a judge. Mr. Durant's actions were illegal. He had no warrant. Sonny shouldn't be released until you've researched every legal precedent. I know that you'll do everything you can to make a case against him. With nothing but tainted evidence against Sonny, I have no choice but to let him go. See you in court. It was always about Sonny. Never me. Sonny is why Duran came to town. But what your father just did now at the station, probably that wasn't about anybody but, but you.